some people always look good. You know, they just have that natural self-discipline that no matter what they do, somehow they always come out smelling like roses. You know, the guy that always looks good, acts good, bees good, and we think he is good. Maybe he is. Maybe he is. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I don't always look good. Matter of fact, I think today I'm going to shave. Of course, I said that yesterday, so sometimes I have those issues of not being able to get to do what I want to do. Like today, recording. I may be challenged because the gardeners are here. They're taking care of the property. If they do, what we'll do is we'll wait. consistent though we are inconsistent and I like to share that to remind people that hey when God is on guess what you're hearing it from the Lord but when it's me you know when it's just me because guess what what you see is what you get I'm just me and I like to bring that out in devotionals every now and then because though God is changing us from glory to glory into the image of the incorruptible Son of God we should not have that expectation that anyone we look at or any ministry or any pastor or any elder or any deacon or any person other than Jesus Christ himself and God the Father and you know the Holy Spirit is perfect they aren't they're imperfect people being used by a perfect God now God can make imperfection that type of perfection by the very fact that the imperfect fits perfectly in where it's supposed to be if you understand that, you got the whole thing of your Christianity down pat. Because that means that it's no longer of our ability, but rather His faithfulness. I kind of like to stick with that. It's not about us. It's about Him. Greatness and service. My children, I'm here. You're waiting, Lord, ready at your call. I am among you as one that serves meek and holy, ready to be used and commanded. Remember, that is the finest quality of greatness. Service, not elevation. I, who could command the universe, I await the cries of my children. Bring me into everything you do, and you'll see me in everything you do. You will find such joy as the time goes on in speaking to each other of me and together climbing higher and higher and higher. Always be humble, always be meek, always be lowly in heart. Learn this, that there is no position greater than that of a servant. For when you would be kings and priests, you will find that a king that I am is the priest that I was, and I have come to serve, not to be served. And you know, 
when I look at Jesus, I don't see him, you know, sitting on top of the throne so much. He went and he's seated at the right hand of the Father right now, but I, I kind of get the idea that there's kind of like some shocking things going to happen in heaven, that the reverse order of our perspective is going to give us back to a directive to become more like servants than to become more like kings. I'm sorry, but maybe that's just my idea. But when I look in heaven at the book of Revelation, I don't see so much, you know, like, you know, somebody serving. It's like, you know, just the nature of himself makes us serve him. Looking at somebody with eyes of fire, you know, and a tongue of flame, you know, and a tongue of like a sword, you know, and having scars that are marred beyond any man's recognition, that makes me kind of humbled, you know, and to be in the sight of perfection, of a holiness of love, you know, the fullness and completeness that is like a consuming fire, that kind of humbles me out, you know. Yeah, it makes me realize I have bad hair days. <laughs> I have bad days, and I have good days. But you see, every day, we're called not to be of ourselves or serve ourselves, but rather, it's not a self-service type of Christianity that we have. It's a full service, where we give full service, full honor, and full glory to the one who made us. God is taking us from our self-service to his full service. So be careful when you have a ministry that you don't lose perspective of who you are. <laughs> Ick! Maybe I better shave. <laughs> Man, I think I need it. <laughs> Ugh. Dandruff. Or is that just skin? Who knows? The point being is don't lose sight of who's in charge and who really we should be personifying by the person that he is, not who we are.